Well, good evening, Sherry. And we just learned moments ago there were actually four different crime scenes, three people dead, including the suspect who has now been identified as 44 year old Brandy Carter. I'm sorry, 44 year old Brandon Carter. I want to walk you through the chain of events as told to us by the sheriff just moments ago. He believes this started at Carter's home on State Route 770 this morning with a fire. They believe he set his own house on fire, which he lived in the house with his mother. Once he set that on fire, the sheriff says they believe he then went to the Marathon gas station, which is about a quarter of a mile from here, tried to abduct the store clerk there, but she fought back. They say he shot her. She is OK. She has been taken to the hospital, but she is expected to survive. During that attempted abduction, the sheriff says he also shot a delivery truck driver who he killed, according to the sheriff. After that, this will take you now and to after. crime scene number three, another gas station across the street. That's the gas station that the sheriff says this suspect, Brandon Carter, robbed. Then from there, the fourth crime scene is where this all ended in Pike County. An active crime scene in a rural county community called Tranquility. This morning, firefighters were dispatched to this home on U.S. Route 770 for a report of a fire. It was still smoking around noon. State and local investigators were then called to the scene where they remain at this hour. A second crime scene about a quarter of a mile away at the Marathon gas station. A delivery driver was shot and killed outside of the store. A store clerk was also shot as she fought off the suspect. He broke her around and go lower the truck. And she broke away from it. She said, uh, get me help, get me help. So I whipped my phone out and called 911. The clerk was rushed to the hospital. The suspect drove off. Neighbors in these rural communities of Seaman and Tranquility still trying to understand what happened and why. Actually, anybody, you know, my heart goes out for you, you know, and it just makes you wonder what, what drove a person to that point. So again, four different crime scenes here in Adams and Pike County. Three people dead, including the suspect, 44-year-old Brandon Carter. I do want to point out that someone, one of the victims, was found inside the house, the house that Brandon Carter lived with his mother. But at this point, the identity of that victim or of the delivery truck driver who was also killed, their identities have not yet been released. Reporting live tonight in Seaman, Adams County, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you. The the search for the suspect started at that marathon station along Highway 32 in Seaman, and that's where WLWT News 5's John London is live to walk us through where the chase began and where it ended. John? Yeah, Mike, once the suspect left this marathon lot behind me, his vehicle was spotted on Route 73 here in Adams County. Police and deputies had a description, and the accelerators went to the floor. This is where the high-speed chase arrived at a lethal conclusion, in the woods along westbound 32. The driver had been eastbound through much of Pike County, pursued by state troopers who used stop sticks to deflate the truck's tires. As the suspect's vehicle slowed down, uh, it veered hard to the left, and it crossed the median you see there behind me and traveled off the left side of the roadway into uh, the wood line. The green Dodge Dakota obscured by the trees and brush had been spotted on 73 at Portsmouth Road in Adams County. A deputy and state trooper tried to pull them over. That's when the chase began, hitting speeds between 80 and 90 miles an hour. 28 miles and 22 minutes later, this is where troopers established a perimeter and used ballistic shields to approach the wrecked pickup unsure what they might encounter. We were unable to see inside of the vehicle at the time. The airbags had deployed. Uh, the dust from the airbags inside the vehicle prevented us from having a view inside of it. They actually had a, a, a window punch and were able to uh, shatter the passenger window on the pickup truck and uh, they were able to view inside. The lone driver was dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Investigators were down into and up from the ravine numerous times as they collected evidence from what turns out to be a nearly 30 mile investigation. And it was stop sticks that brought this to an end when they were initially used. The state uh, patrol tells us that the uh, driver managed to avoid them and came at troopers with his truck trying to hit them. Those troopers were not hurt. Reporting live in Adams County, John London, WWT News 5. John